One of the more controversial pieces of new legislation is a thing called the collective sale process. Now this piece of new legislation entitles up to 75% of all owners in a building to sell their building to a developer or any other party. Under the old legislation, you needed to have 100% of votes in favour of this motion before proceeding down this path. To protect the rights and interests of all parties should you go down this path, there is a very specific and set process that applies, which culminates in the Land and Environment Court signing off on the sale. Now that ensures that all owners are protected when going through this very stressful and long process. In my view, the collective sale process is a good thing because there are a lot of dilapidated buildings around New South Wales that simply do not have enough money in their capital works funds to sustain them over many years to come. This new process provides them a framework to sell their buildings and potentially make money on the sale of their asset that they might not have otherwise had. It also means that you can expect to see a further spike in developments in New South Wales over the next 10 or so years, as a lot more buildings will go down this path of sale as opposed to spending money on refurbishment and redevelopment.